The mother of convicted baby killer Kelly Lane has fought back tears while giving evidence at her daughter's sentencing hearing. Sandra Lane told the court the guilty verdict has been distressing for Lane's child, who's found it difficult to understand. Supporters of Lane are hoping for a substantial reduction when she's sentenced next month. Sandra Lane gave evidence during her daughter's murder trial, but this would have been a very different experience. Now the question is not whether Kelly Lane killed her baby, but how long she should spend in prison for doing so. Mrs Lane choked up in the witness box as she described taking her grandchild to the prison for visits. Asked how they coped, she said, I saw two very distressed people who just love each other so much. A close friend believes prison is taking its toll on Lane, saying she's very, very distressed. She seems to be somewhat detached when I talk to her. Kelly Lane's GP also provided a testimonial for her. The parents called him to their family home in 2004 when the police investigation was gathering pace. Dr Thompson said a highly distraught Lane explained she'd grown up in a competitive family and community with high expectations of her, but deep inside she was not happy. At the time, Kelly Lane's goal was to compete in the Australian Olympic water polo team. A jury found that in 1996 she killed her baby daughter Tegan two days after giving birth at Sydney's Auburn Hospital. It was one of several pregnancies she hid from her family and boyfriend. Lane's barrister challenged the findings of a psychiatrist because he hasn't consulted her in person. But Dr Michael Diamond said there was a rich supply of information about her behaviour, including her police interviews. Lane's actions in raising a child since will be taken into account. This case was described as unusual at one end of the bar table and bizarre at the other. The judge said he had some difficult matters to consider before handing down his sentence next month. Carl Herr, ABC News.